All right, guys, this is Ron Moore, and this is Long Time No Play Kung Fu for the NES. I don't think it's been 20 years since I played this game, but it has been a good while. I'm going to sit down here and see how far I can get in this game. I've never beaten it. I thought I've gotten to stage four, I think, when I was a kid. That was it. Mm, let me see what I can do here. It's been a while. Let's see how far I can get. I love the simple soundtrack in this game. I really had fun with this game when I was a kid. It's simple yet fun to play and fairly challenging. After playing Dragon's Lair, I gotta play a good game because man, that was that was rough. Those guys, all they do is just, they remind me of the enemies in Simon's Quest, those ghouls just run after you with their hands up in the air. Alright, now here's the first boss of the stage, and he got pwned pretty easily. Alright, that is the end of stage one already. And I believe the objective of the game is to rescue Thomas's girlfriend, Sylvia, who's kidnapped by... The evil Mr. X from Street Your Age and Mega Man 6 and Speed Racer. Alright, here's stage 2 now. We got snakes and dragons coming after me here. Ah, oh, jeez. Now, don't think you can touch the dragons. And what is that thing? That thing that explodes and. Why did I kick that? I kicked the snakes! You can't kick them when they're on the ground? I thought you could. Right. Oh, I guess you can only kick them right when they're in midair, about to fall to the ground. And it's got to jump over him otherwise. Ah, jump! Oh, nice. Oh, dang it. Hornswall going out makes his debut in Kung Fu. Oh, shoot. Oh, it's a boomerang, man. Oh, jeez. I just got pwned. Well, it goes around, comes around. What? What was it? Hey, you see that? I think that was a glitch. Nice. Thank you, gaming glitch gremlin. Now on to level three. There's Sylvia. Mr. X laughing in the background. <laughs> Maybe it is Mr. X from Street of Rage, just the 8-bit version of his laugh. Oh man, a bunch of horn swoggles in this stage. This is where it gets real. Oh, what the heck? It jumped in my head. Oh, I forgot they could jump. I guess they just jump at random. You can't really tell. Alright. Oh, come on. Quit, quit running. Like a, man, wait, you're running your run all of a sudden. There we go. Fight like a man. Or go, get whooped like a man. Level 3 boss, George Foreman. Come on, there we go. Ooh. Nice, there we go. Alright, run, 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 run. Oh, come on. Oh, come on. Oh, oh, come on now, man. I had the level beat. Man, it's messed up. Jeez, I got to all over. Come on. Man. Ah. Yeah, I told you, level three gets real. Oh, 
Come on. Let go of me. Ah, oh, now, really? Come on, you coward. Man, come on, fight like a real man. Look at that, man. Don't run like a little sissy. Fight like a man. I can't be talking, I ran too. That's why I got killed. If I would turn around and kick those guys, I would have been done with level 3. Uh, dang, man, I was done with level 3. I gotta do all this again. Jeez. I still like Kung Fu Kid better for the Sega Master System. If you ever seen my video, check it out. It's on my uh, Time to Play playlist from 2008. Ah, oh, man. Jeez, he just really <laughs> kicked me off the screen right there. And let's just cut back to here again. If we get starting all over. Nice, there we go. Now, make sure no one keeps me here. There we go. Level four. The fourth level is tough. Jeez, I gotta fight hornets in here? I, it's been a while since I, I don't really remember. Jeez, oh, this is gonna be tedious. Ah. Man. Ah. Whoa, this boss already. What the heck? Ah, jeez, he pwned me. What the heck was that? What? Whoa. Jeez, man, this boss is serious. The heck is this thing? Oh, there we go. Nice. All right, so you got punch. Skip Rogers lied to me. He said, "Kick, don't punch." All right, so I think this is the farthest I've ever gotten. I've seen a full playthrough of this, but never beaten it myself. So let's uh, see if I can actually beat it myself. Now, hold on a second. Jeez. I'm on my way. All right, the fifth floor. The final floor. Ah. Oh, jeez. Man. Oh, what? Yeah, that's right. You guys better. Oh, wait. That's why they're running. I guess this is Tom. Uh, not Thomas. Uh, Mr. X. All right. Oh man. Oh. Come on now. Ah. All right, round two. Stick and move. Stick and move.
Oh. Nice, I did it. Wow, 10,000 points. Oh, come on, don't die now. Don't. Oh, thank God. That would have that really sucked. Nice, actually beat the game. Congratulations, Thomas and Sylvia. But their happiness does not continue. What? What? The princess is another dojo? What? Oh, this is the second quest? Jeez, forget that. I do no second quest. Anyway. Anyway, Kung Fu, The Legend Continues for the NES. Now, um, this is a pretty great game. Simple, yet fun game to play. Nice challenge to it. Not much to the music, but for the soundtrack that is in there, it's pretty good. Had a lot of fun in this game when I was a kid. This is actually the first game I've beaten in my Long Time No Play series, I think. Uh, usually, in the Long Time No Play and Let's Check Out series, I don't beat games. I just play them for uh, maybe, maybe the longest two or three different parts before I move on. And this one I actually beat. I think it's the first time I've ever beaten the game, too. Okay, I did use save states and unlimited lives. So I did cheat, and I looked on YouTube to how to beat <laughs> uh, this game, and, or how to beat the fourth level boss, at least. Um, I wasn't to use ECW mode also, like infinite health, but I couldn't find a cheat for that. Um, I did that so I can, since this game is so short, and I feel like I could beat it, I can go ahead and, when I'm not recording, go ahead and cheat to get back to the part where I died last instead of starting all over and then you know seeing the repetitive gameplay so but you know hey it's still pretty cool that I finished this game and at least finished this game uh, for the sake of getting through this video and showing the whole game because it is pretty short so I thought I'd go ahead and finish it yeah so this game definitely not bad still as good as I remember it and uh, yeah so uh, definitely not a bad game. If any of you guys have not played it, go ahead and pick it up. I, I would give it maybe a 7.5 out of 10. A simple game, not much to the game, but especially uh, if you played it when you were a kid, it was definitely fun. And I enjoyed it. So it's a nice, simple fighting game. Um, so yeah, there you, there you go. And yep, I'm done with this game, so I'm out of here. I'm Ron Moore. God bless. I take care.